JB's Top 10 MO Photos Hey, if Brassfield can get away with it, why can't I? In the good old days, a big time professional such as myself would be accompanied by an also professional photographer, but that's so 2010. Luckily, thanks to the geniuses at Canon, anybody who can push a button can now get decent results. Here are my favorites from the last few years. In case you don't already know, clicking on MO photos makes them not just bigger but usually also sharper. No one knows why. 10. Rolling up 395. Combining business with pleasure is the best. A few years ago I got the chance to test a couple of Hondas by riding up in the eastern Sierra of California with my boy, Ryan, for a little fishing expedition. California can definitely feel a tad congested along the Pacific coast, but a journey up Highway 395, on the other side of the Sierra Nevada range, is a whole other ball game. For me, this shot sums up what motorcycling in the Great American West are all about. 9. Ice Cream What makes it all a great place to work are the great people I work, play with motorcycles, with. Whilst testing the Zero DSR last summer, why wouldn't we get grab a quick cone at Watson's Truck in downtown Orange? The girl inside doesn't know quite what to make of tear off, but looks like she wants to give him the benefit of the doubt. Tom McComas is rare on this is. I've been bugging Hollywood stuntman Tom McComas for months to do an archive about his rare GSXR 750RR, which turned into an even more fun day than I'd anticipated when he brought his pal Savannah Lynx along for the ride. More than a pretty face, Savannah turned out to be a really great human and thoughtful enough to wear color coordinated gear. 7. Silencing the Critics I managed to finagle a road trip to Texas a few years ago, where I rode around for a few days on this borrowed Indian Chief Classic. Would the critics accept it? They've since killed off victory, but it's looking like Indian will make it. Anyway, the light was nice when I stopped here and these asses joined me to make it a foursome. 6. GP Bikes One Stumbles Upon Okay, so this shot's a bit dark but it just makes the red of the Ducati MotoGP bike that much more shockingly hot against the cool interior of MotoGP works, where it was in for a bit of loving care one day. 5. Respect your elders. Squaring your offspring's observation that only grey-bearded old guys ride Harleys with his wish to ride your new Street 750 resulted in this photo and life lesson. 4. Getting all artsy with it. Using a tripod and timer didn't keep the ground from shaking when the southbound supplier came through, but I like this shot of the 2016 CB500F anyway. 3. Hero Multi-time 500 GP champ Eddie Lawson couldn't be a more gracious human, but now and then a little steely-eyed gunfighter shows through. Maybe that's enough questions for now. 2. Front row seat at the Catalonia MotoGP a couple years ago, I got into the press room, its long front window angles outward above the top of pit lane. The glass reflections and long shadows as Rossi's crew make his Yamaha ready for morning practice make this one of my keepers. 1. Brian Smith at the 2014 Pomona Half Mile It was dark as the inside of a cow in turn 4 during practice at the Pomona Half Mile but I panned along with this speeding blur and pushed the button anyway. Later at home on the laptop, I turned up the exposure on iPhoto and this grainy shot of Brian Smith emerged. Sumber www.motorcycle.com slash top 10 slash jbs top 10 mo photos dot html